Hello, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little challenge. I'm going to be painting this Oriole under 15 minutes, from sketch to painting. The reason I'm doing this is to practice loosening up and to paint more intuitively. By timing myself, I won't be able to focus on one part of the painting for too long. So let's get my timer ready. Here, 15 minutes. And then here's the picture of the piece I'll be painting. All right, so I'm going to start off a sketch using a light H pencil. I'm mainly going to be sketching the head of the Oreo. This is where most of the details will end up being. Now I'm going to work my way down the body. The wings about here. And its torso ends right here. Now I'm just going to go back in and add some more details to the head. I'm pressing down a little harder than my first sketch, but I'm using the same pencil still. Alright, now I'm going to add the eye over here. Alright, that looks good. I think I need to get painting. I'm a little under 13 minutes. I'm going to start off with the beak. That's usually where I start painting. I want the beak to be nice and crisp. I'm using a smaller paintbrush. We'll see how this goes. Alright, just use a slightly larger one. That one would take forever if I used a small one the whole time. Okay, let's go even larger. I'm going to start filling this in with a light wash of gray. And then I'll add some details after it dries. All right, and then for the eye, I'm just going to be filling it in with some brown paint. For this painting, I'm probably just going to be using three or four colors. I'm using gray, brown, probably burnt sienna, and then maybe cadmium orange, and possibly a yellow. I might mix in some yellow. So let's fill that in. And then add a light layer of gray right around the eye. Birds kind of have like a little ring around their eyes, so that's what I'm trying to show here. And I'm actually going to erase some of my pencil lines, because I don't want my pencil lines to show through when I paint. And now I'll start filling the top of the head. I'm really loading up my brush, adding some black paint. I think it's paint's gray. Start filling that in. And then for the front of the head, it's a slightly smaller brush, just because it's kind of a tighter area. I'm making sure to leave some space between this black and then where the eyes ring is. I'm going to fill this in. Alright, where are we at in time? I got a little under 10 minutes. I'm going to paint this out here. Alright, now I got to work on the body. So I'm going to load up my brush with some burnt sienna and orange paint. I'm really loading it up so I don't have to add as many layers. Start filling that in. I'm also using a slightly larger brush for this part. A little yellow over here. Kind of add some variation to the color. So I'm just looking at my reference image and just adding the colors where I see them. I'm kind of blocking it out. Like I'm not adding every little detail. We're just kind of blocking it in color. And some black up here. Or gray. I keep calling it black. And then for the wings, I'm going to do a couple brush strokes of black. 
And then some of it I dragged into the orange. And then I'm leaving some white. There's white on the feathers, but instead of painting out the pattern, I'm just gonna kind of have the white spot represent where the light is. And here's the other wing, kind of peeking through. the tail feathers, a couple strokes of yellow and orange. And I'm just gonna keep the foot very gestural. It's gonna be a little foot coming through here. I think I'm doing okay on time. A couple splashes of water. Let's add some texture. And then I'm just gonna blow dry this a little bit. So I work on the head details, but I don't want to dip my hand in wet paint. Pushing the paint around. I think some more burnt sienna here. Okay, we got a little under six minutes. Okay, I think I gotta add some details to the head. Now we don't have a pupil, and the beak's looking a little. needs a little something. Alright. Going back in with my small paintbrush, adding those details. And blend that out a little. Add a little contrast between the neck and the body. And I'm just gonna rotate this so I can paint the eye without dipping my hand into the wet paint. Just adding a little bit extra paint here. I'll kind of make it look more crisp looking. Add some details to the wing. Just gotta make sure the paint's dry here. I'm just gonna gently touch it. All right, it looks pretty dry. Add a little details on the feet since I got a couple minutes left here. Some talons. Sorry, my timer's off the screen, but I think I have about two minutes left. Blow dry that a little bit. All right, two minutes. I'm just gonna play around a little bit. I could call it done now, but let's just keep going. We got the time. <laughs> Keep adding some little details. All right, and the timer just went off, and there is my Oreo. So that was a pretty simple piece. I'm pretty happy with it. I would probably add a little black to the tail if I had a little more time, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye now.